iPhoneBatteryRepair.com presents an installation video for the iPhone 2G battery replacement. Visit our web store for pro installation services, installation white papers, parts, and troubleshooting guides. Warning, the content provided in this video is for informational purposes only. Top Techies and iPhoneBatteryRepair.com are not responsible for the use or misuse of the content provided in this video. The use of the content and instructions are at your own risk. Top Techies takes no responsibility in the outcome of the service. Opening the case on your iPhone will avoid the warranty. You are performing this repair at your own risk. Okay, let's get started. The iPhone 2G has a very tight case tolerance which makes it difficult to remove the outer aluminum shell. We explain a couple different techniques to help with the case opening, but expect some bending and flexing in order to get the case off. The case removal is probably the most difficult part of the replacement process, so take your time and be forceful with your tools. A few other words of caution. The battery connector tabs on the system board are really sensitive to lifting. This is presumably why Apple has a thin layer of glue protecting them. If any of the connectors lift up during the replacement process, you'll require a new system board. Do not pull up on any of the battery wires connected to the system board. Also, the new replacement battery can short circuit if the red wire touches an electrical ground or any of the other two wires on the battery. Do not remove the red wire heat shrink wrap until you're ready to solder the connection. This will prevent any accidental shorting. So let's go through some of the highlights that you'll need to know in order to be successful. Required tools. You'll need both a micro Phillips and micro flathead screwdriver along with a soldering iron and small pin or paper clip. Installation reality. The plastic tools are more for lifting ribbon connectors and have minimum effectiveness on opening the case. Popping open the iPhone takes time and the proper use of the metal tools at your disposal. Don't let other videos fool you into thinking the plastic tools can crack the case open. They don't work. Installation risks. Expect some minor case damage as the aluminum alloy used for the back case is very light and pliable. Don't pull up on the battery wires once you get the cover off. The battery connectors are really sensitive to lifting. Also, if the battery short circuits, you'll need a new battery. Troubleshooting and installation tips. Be sure to visit our website at www.iphonebatteryrepair.com because only a fraction of our replacement tips are on this video. We also have a very effective troubleshooting guide on the site. Installation difficulty level. We rate this replacement as hard due to the difficulty in opening the case and the battery connection lifting risk we discussed earlier. Okay, so let's take a look at the replacement process in action. Here we have the black plastic antenna cover along with the aluminum backing. Here's where the SIM tray card is located at along with the release mechanism. Insert the small pin or paper clip into the hole containing the release mechanism until it ejects. Remove the SIM card and tray with your fingers and set it aside. The next step involves removing the black antenna cover. This is done by taking the micro flathead screwdriver, which in this case has a very fine head, and leveraging it into the side where the aluminum meets the plastic. Insert the tool, then forcefully push out. Try to work only one area of the plastic cover to minimize the impact marks on the plastic. After enough pressure is applied, the cover should pop loose. You can see two locking mechanisms in the middle of the cover and along the bottom. Set the cover aside in a safe place. Here you can see the antenna foil used for the iPhone radios. 
Above this foil are three screws that need to be removed prior to forcing off the aluminum cover. Take your microphillips screwdriver and remove these screws. The next step is the removal of the aluminum cover. This is probably the most difficult part of the replacement process. You'll need to leverage the side out as you force the top up. Again, the side out as you force the top up. Okay, you'll notice that we're using a flat piece of metal in this next step to reduce the pressure point on the back cover. This reduces some of the metal bending and flexing as you apply pressure with the flathead screwdriver. Use the thumb down technique and work the cover. Once you get a crease on the side, you know you're making progress. You may have to leverage the side out using the screwdriver and then go back to the top cover position with your thumb down technique. Again, be forceful with your tools and don't give up. This can be a time consuming process. Once you have a crease large enough on the side, leverage a tool into position and pull the side out. The cover should pop, providing a larger gap between the back case and the front of the iPhone. You should now be able to leverage the remaining case opening by using your hands. Be careful because there is a single ribbon connector that connects the back cover to the iPhone. This ribbon connector will need to be disconnected by placing a fingernail under it and lifting up. Once this is complete, remove the back cover and set it aside. You now have access to the battery bay along with the soldered connections on the system board. The next step is unseating the battery from the iPhone battery bay. Leverage the tools under the battery in multiple areas. Be sure not to put any strain on the battery wires during this time. Before unsoldering the connections, we recommend removing a small amount of glue that's covering the connectors. In this example, we're using an X-Acto knife to remove the glue. Here we are desoldering the connections starting with the black wire and moving to the left. You can see the use of a tweezers to remove the battery wires. Remember, do not pull up on the wires until the solder liquefies. Okay, we're ready to solder in the new battery. You'll notice the red hot wire has a heat shrink wrap around it to prevent it from short circuiting. You'll want to start with the black wire, then white, and finally the red hot wire in that exact order. Do not remove this heat shrink wrap until you're ready to make this connection. You can now pause the video and solder in the battery. One of the final phases is testing the iPhone functionality. In some cases, the iPhone will power on immediately upon restoring the battery connections. In other cases, you'll need to connect the top cover connector and hold down the power and home buttons at the same time for 8 seconds. This reboots the iPhone.